Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and this is it for GoldenEye 007 with enemy rockets. Let's face Trevelyan in one final showdown on the cradle, shall we? Alright, this won't be that bad, I don't think, because most of the enemies on this map are reinforcements. It's kind of a boss battle, I guess you could say. If there is such a thing in this game, it's the closest thing to it. We have the cradle, which I have to say, you know, a lot of things in this game are kind of deviate from the movie a lot. But the cradle is actually pretty accurate to how it was in the film. I gotta give them credit for that. But yes, Janus Control communications have been jammed and the GoldenEye satellite orbit is decaying. Only Trevelyan and his personal bodyguard remain unaccounted for. So yes, Trevelyan can manually fix everything on the satellite, so we have to make sure that doesn't happen. And here we go. M, I love this. You know my feelings about personal vendettas interfering with mission success, 007. However, in this case, I think we could turn a blind eye to whatever happens out there. And of course, the typical tagline, be careful and remember, you are licensed to kill. And Q, would you believe it, 007, there's another blasted control thingy actually on the antenna cradle. Trevelyan might be able to realign the antenna and get one last firing message through the satellite. Get out there and destroy it. We don't want things going pear-shaped at the last minute. Damn straight. Money Penny, the final useless piece of advice for Money Penny. The hand that rocks the cradle rules the world, James. You know I won't sleep soundly until you get back to England in one piece. Finally, some support from Money Penny to close everything out. Thank you, Money Penny, for being not really helpful throughout this whole thing, but being there, for being there. It's the thought that counts, I suppose. All right, I have to also say the cradle music is epic. It's awesome. This is quintessential GoldenEye music. The showdown at the cradle. But first, the hidden body armor back here. All right, let's go. We got this lovely detailed sky. Anyway, a lot of enemies too. But not a lot of rocket launchers, like I said. This first guy doesn't even have one. Everything on the map, other than Trevelyan, is a reinforcement. So they will all have ZMGs. Some of them will do wield, some of them won't. And they're all, but they're all gonna be a pain, I can tell you that much. And yes, the reinforcements are infinite, if you're wondering. So these guys will infinitely continue to respawn with ZMGs. Some of them will be dual wielding, some of them will not. But I should be able to do this in one effort. But Trevelyan himself will have a rocket launcher. That's for, da for damn sure. I hate these stupid turrets. There he is. Bastard. That's another turret in there. Ow. Whatever, I have plenty of time to deactivate that antenna. I, on higher difficulties, I have to say, oh, this mission is a pain because not only do these guys do more damage, like with their weapons, like, I mean, I'm taking a fair amount of damage already in aging, but on higher difficulties, these guys really hurt with their ZMGs. But um, not only that, but... But you know, it's just it, like you have to kind of farm the reinforcements a little bit to get enough ammo because right now, that's gonna shoot a rocket at me. We have to chase down Trevelyan and blast him with our well, <laughs> with our weapons here. Oh, we also get grenades, so you gotta watch out for hand grenades. Um, but if you don't, in higher difficulty, it takes a lot of shots to take down Trevelyan too. And you could run out of ammo really fast, especially if you do wield ZMGs. If you notice, I'm not going to, geez, I'm not going to do wield because it actually depletes your ammo really fast. And really, you can't get that many more shots off on them if you do wield. And it'll be a lot more inaccurate. Anyway. Not get hit by a rocket. Yeah, hell, the all of Trevelyan's one-liners, of course. Oh, whoa, 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 that's not that Ah, that's it! Finish the job, James, if you can, this is it! It's all boiled down to this moment! Right now, Trevelyan's gonna run to the final showdown, I don't need to fight any more of the stupid guards running around the map with ZMGs. I just need to go down and meet Trevelyan, you can hear the music, it's crazy. This is it, it all comes down to this point. Imagine how intense this was when this game first came out! This was awesome! This was like the end of the awesome first-person shooter! We don't even know what first-person shooters are, this is the first one! <laughs> well, it's the first one on consoles to be really good since Doom on the PC. Anyway. Time for that. Here we go. Let's finish the job if I can. Down here in the final room, I was always better, James. Really, Trevelyan. We'll find out about that. 
Lay it on the little platform down here. Punch it off for England, James. No, for me. I love that line in the movie. I love it here. That's it. Goldeneye, double ascent with enemy rockets is completed. I guess it's a little anticlimactic that, you know, the final mission is easy with enemy rockets, but there we go. Hanging on the side of the helicopter, we take off and classic James Bond style. That was awesome. What a fantastic conclusion to Let's Play Goldeneye 007 with enemy rockets. I know it was pretty easy on agent difficulty, but trust me, it's really hard on harder difficulty. So it was a good conclusion for me. Nice, calm, easy mission. Low stress after the caverns piss me off. But whatever. Done in 3 minutes, 15 seconds. Missed the target, I guess, by a minute. My best time was 2.05. Uh, not very good accuracy, but that's all I needed to do. I actually got rid of 16 guards, I guess 15 guards and Trevelyan. So uh, there was a lot of killing. You know, no shortage of action in the last mission. Short, but awesome. Like I said, it's kind of like a boss battle anyway. So there we go. GoldenEye 007 with enemy rockets is completed. Now I will say there are two hidden missions in this game that obviously I haven't unlocked. You can tell by the mission select screen. There's the Aztec, which is this little spot on the little mission select screen. And there's Egypt, which is this final spot. Or Egyptian. I forget if it's called Egypt or Egyptian. But whatever it is. Um, they're based off of other GoldenEye movies. I believe this one's based off... Aztec is based off of Moonraker. And Egypt has... Uh, oh, that guy. Baron something. Baron, it starts with an S. I can't remember his name. Baron Samedi, I think is his name. Whatever. Uh, and I forget what, what movie that's based on. But... There are two hidden missions. The first one's unlocked by completing all the missions on Secret Agent. Obviously, you can't use cheats. And the second one unlocked by completing all the missions on Double O Agent. I don't know if I'll ever get around to doing that. If I do, or if I find a cartridge that has those two unlocked, then I will be sure to go back with Enemy Rockets and do those two missions. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, GoldenEye 007, the main part of it anyway, has been complete with Enemy Rockets. This is Shadow Mario 41, finally signing out on this awesome project. I loved it playing this game again with enemy rockets it was an excellent challenge although frustrating definitely frustrating but a fun challenge ah man Whew, that was fun and it was good throwback to my first you know the first let's play i ever did was perfect dark with enemy rockets i don't know how many of you know that but that was the first let's play i've ever done so it was kind of cool to get a little throwback to what i you know how i started off but Let's close out with the GoldenEye logo. This is Shadow Mario 41. I will see you guys in more exciting Let's Plays in the future. GoldenEye 007 with enemy rockets has been completed. Ciao.